Okay, so in this video, I'm just going to show you some examples of how we put to use this equation V equals IR. So uh, first of all, what this is actually is it's an expression of what resistance is, because remember that R equals V over I. This is just the way the V equals IR is just the way it's usually written because it uh, writes much more neatly in textbooks and stuff. Uh, but it's actually basically the definition of what resistance is, potential difference divided by current. So if we start off with the simplest circuit in here, the way we would use V equals IR is it would allow us to work out what the current is in this circuit because we know the resistance, we know what the potential difference is. So it would allow us to work out the current in here. So we know potential difference is six, uh, resistance is five, and that's going to be 1.2 amps if we're giving it to two sniffing figures. Um, okay, so that's a nice easy example. Uh, this next circuit you can see here, we can use V equals IR in two different ways. We can use it to work out the current going through our cell, and we can also use it to work out the potential difference across one of the resistance. Okay, so if we want to work out the current going through the battery, we first have to work out what the total resistance is, and since they're in series we know that we just add them together, we get a total resistance of 30. So if we want to get the current going through the cell, all we have to do is the EMF of the cell divided by the total resistance. So the EMF of our cell is six, total resistance is 30. So that's, uh, if we, they both got a factor of six, so that's one over five. So then we write that as 0 0.20 amps to two significant figures there. Um, just a quick thing about significant figures, these num these zeros that come before first the non-zero number are not considered significant. So this here, 0 0.20 is a two significant figure number. That will be important with some of the questions you do on the quiz later, so uh, bear that in mind. Okay, so that's how we can find the, uh, the current through the cell. Let's say we now want to know what this potential difference is. So I'm gonna call it V1. So how much potential difference does the 10 ohm get uh, compared to maybe the 20 ohm? So we can just use it in this form, V equals IR. We now know the current going through the 10 ohm. Uh, it's a series circuit, so the current is the same everywhere. And we know its resistance, it's 10. So that's just going to be 2 volts if we're giving that to one significant figure there. Okay, so... What that would mean is, let's draw in another one. V2, if we draw V2, uh, we so this is we just calculated V1. So V2 therefore must be four volts to uh, one significant figure, because two plus four gives you six. Because remember, in series, the potential differences add up to give the EMF. So that's two different ways we can use V equals IR. We can use it to calculate the the current through the cell, if we know the total resistance and we know the EMF of the cell, and we can use it to work out the potential difference across one of the components, if we know the current through going through that component and the resistance of that component. Okay, so let's have a look at a different type of circuit. So what if we have a parallel circuit? Well, we can still use the, um, the same idea. So I'm going to calculate what the total resistance is. So we're going to do 1 over 5 plus 1 over 5, which is 2 over 5. So that means the total resistance, remember, we now have to flip that back over. It's 5 over 2, which is 2.5 ohms. So what we can do is we can do the same thing we did before. So we can calculate the current going through our cell. If we know the EMF of the cell, which is 6. Uh, so just to actually explain what I'm doing, first of all. So the EMF of our cell is 6, total resistance is 2.5, and I'm going to need my calculator for this one. Well, I guess I could double both of them, so it's going to be 12 over 5, which gives you actually 2.4 amps. I don't need my calculator for that. And again, that would be two significant figures. So what if we, say, wanted to work out the current going through one of these uh, 
of these resistors. So let's break up our space. Well, we know that if we put a voltmeter across the 5 ohm, it would measure 6 volts. And we know if we put a voltmeter across this 5 ohm one down at the bottom, it would also measure 6 volts. They're, put, they're in parallel, so their potential difference is the same. And since they're on their own like this, we must get 6 volts there. So we could calculate the current going through the 5 ohm if we know the potential difference across the 5 ohm divided by the resistance, so we know it's 6 divided by 5, which is 1.2 amps. So you'll notice what we're going to have is the current going through this 5 ohm at the top is going to be 1.2, and it's also going to be 1.2 going through the bottom one, which add together to give you 2.4. So that works. And the reason it splits equally is because these two resistances are identical. If let's say this was a let's say this was a 10 ohm resistor and a 5. We would have to do 6 divided by 10 for the top one, uh, and we'd get 0 0.6 instead. So um, if we have different resistors, it would the current splits unequally there. Okay, so that's uh, the calculations we can do for a parallel one. I just want to show you one final one which combines both of those two things, but we're going to use the same kind of logic. So the first thing I want to do is calculate the total resistance here. Uh, so... I'm going to calculate the resistance of the parallel section first. So that's going to be 1 over 5. That's 1 over 5. So that's 2 over 5. So the resistance of the parallel section is 2.5 because that's 5 divided by 2. And that means the total resistance is going to be 7.5 ohms. Because we're going to add the 2.5 to the 5. So we've got our total resistance. So we can do the same thing we were doing before. If we want to know the current going through our cell, we do the EMF of the cell divided by the total resistance. So we're going to do 6 divided by 7.5. I don't know what that is, so that's going to be uh, 12 over 15. Uh, and that one, we can figure out that's just 4 uh, four fifths, isn't it? So that's just going to be 0 0.80 Again, giving that to two significant figures there. I, I realise I didn't say how many I was giving this one to. Uh, two significant figures there. So now we've calculated the current going through our cell. So we can now work out, I'll draw it on here, the potential difference here. Because if the current going out of the cell is 0 0.80, the current going through the 5 ohm here is also 0 0.8. So I can work out what V1 is. Because the current going through it is 0 0.8, its resistance is 5, uh, so that's going to be 4 volts. So then, if I connect in V2 and V3, we know that we know that V2 is equal to V3, because they're in parallel, and they must be equal to 6 minus 4, so they must be 2 volts each there. So... The final thing we can do here is we can work out the current going through one of the parallel ones. So um, I'm going to call this I1 just to show you where it is. So we know that I1 is going to be the potential difference divided by resistance. So the potential difference across that 5 ohm resistor is 2 volts. Its resistance is 5. So we get a current of 0 0.40 amps, which shouldn't be too surprising because essentially the 0 0.8 has halved to produce this one because again the resistors are identical so we're going to end up with the current splitting in half so we'd get 0 0.4 going through the top and 0 0.4 going through the bottom um, so those are just some examples of using vehicles ir that you are going to come across um, in the quiz that you're going to do about predicting what currents and what potential differences and what resistances are going to be and also just illustrating giving answers to certain numbers of significant figures so in a lot of the questions you're going to be asked to give potential differences to one significant figure so this is what i'm looking for a lot of the current is going to ask you to two significant figures so i'll be seeing things like 0.4s or 1.2s um two significant figure numbers there